In these streets is where I be, providing my counseling services to the citizens of LA County for free, per court order. As part of my community service requirement, I'm giving 50 hours of emotional and behavioral therapy to those in need. Recently, I caught a minor case, but once the judge learned that I had certification in psychology, he thought that I could put my education to use. Granted, my diploma was issued by a school with questionable accreditation. Nevertheless, I'm here to serve my community. You got real problems, I got real answers. Not bad. That's the only trim I'll pay for. Besides, horror mongering costs way more than twenty dollars nowadays. You, Dwayne? Yes, yes, get in. Hey, how you doing? The hell is that for? In case you trip, I got 1.21 gigawatts for that ass. Calm down, you already coming up in here with those distrustful tendencies. You need to exfoliate that hate and doubt and allow yourself to be talked to. Girl, I'm your therapist, Dwayne. I don't trust nobody. And that's why I'm here. Okay. Elaborate on your leeriness and angst against the world, please, uh, Crystal. See? See? You already tripping with the trickery. You ain't got the child locks on, do you? Ugh, girl, ain't nobody got time for that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm here to get your opinion on something. Oh, now you want my opinion. Please proceed with your issues. I'm here to see why guys won't commit to me. And my girlfriends can't seem to give me the answers. Well, see there? You come to the right place. A non-biased, auspicious man of the world. Those felonious feline friends of yours, they can't help you with this problem. I see they can't. Indeed. Women are at the forefront of spreading that hate virus across the estrogen community. You know how many dirty bitches and low-down hoes and skanks and slutfish you've been called behind your back by your top three friends? Whether it's true or not, you know? My homegirls love me. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a whole nother session. Come back and see me and I can tell you why bras been closeted cutthroats behind the scenes. Anyway, as of your current situation, let me ask you, what kind of man you attracted to? Hmm. Well... I like a man that got his stuff together. Job, preferably a career because there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Own car, own place is a given, mm -hmm. and one who is college educated and on and up and up. Mm -hmm. And if he looks good, all the better, because <laughs> I look good. Anyway, I've been seeing a guy who got all of the above for like the last six months, but it seems we're stuck in late night hookup status. I know what the real problem is. Okay. Spill the beans, man. I can keep it real with you, right? I mean, because that's how I get down, and everybody can't handle it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, come on. Give it to me raw. Okay. Hold on to your self-esteem. In reality, you're approximately a 6.5, and a lot of the guys you attracted to got way other options that grade much higher than you. What you mean 6.5? On a Richter scale? No, sweetheart. On a Chichter scale. And it appears that you have a second-degree attitude. That's a terrible combination. But more importantly, you got that rental car vagina. I'm strictly speaking from a testicular point of view. This guy's flying cooch status on Spirit Airlines. It's like sometimes you just got to get there the best way you can. Meager accommodations be damned. You don't know a damn thing about this stuff right here. Shoot. <laughs> Understand me this. Chances are that after six months, this brother's gotten bored with you, as it happens with many cats who fraternize and frolic with average-looking women. Average? Average? Mm. You got me f***ed up. No, your perspective is f***ed up if you think you're closer to Holly Berry than Fantasia. Come on, look, let's be honest. I'm no Shemar Moore or Idris Elba myself. 
Hell, 67.3% of society can be classified as average Joes or, or Sally. So, hey, you're in great company. Your sugarcoating attempts ain't helping. So what else you got to say? Because you're testing my nerves. And you, my dear, are testing my professionalism. Don't act like you ain't never sipped Cisco from a red Solo cup before. I'm here to help you, not lie to you. It is what it is. You got to come back down to earth, baby, and accept reality and face the facts. Come to terms with who you are. Mm-hmm. And how do you suggest I go about doing that, since you have all the answers? Well, you can start off by shifting your angst to your oral game. I mean, beast out in that regard. Less tone and more don't. Also, you can go shopping in the blue collar department for brothers who got less than a plethora of poon at their disposal. I don't think so. I ain't giving up what I like just because you got some old jack leg ass opinions. Look here, ma'am. I'm just giving you my naked eye assessment. There are a whole bunch of intangibles out there that can drive your score down, down, down. Like the number of children you have. Each child can drop your score half a point. And if said child left a C-section scar from labor, that's another half a point. You feel me? Either you deal with the facts or accept a life of rotation bait and last resort squirt therapy from these ballers. That's just a harsh reality, baby. Miss me with your insults, okay? <laughs> well, look here, if it's any consolation to you, you know, personally, I'll put the full court press down on you. I'm just saying, you know, you know, I got this new Groupon to the steakhouse up the way, you know, we can uh, get us something to eat because you look like you can use some fresh meat in your life. Just saying, you know, we do something cool. He like it. Okay, if I can get you to sign my timesheet, please, and time out is 